Newton's Laws of Motion Inertia Inertia is the property of matter by virtue of which an object continues in its existing state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line, unless an external force changes that state. Mass is the quantitative measure of inertia. Types of inertia Inertia of rest and inertia of motion are the two types of inertia. Click on each type of inertia for more information. Inertia of rest A body at rest continues to remain at rest unless an external force is applied on it. When a bus starts moving all of a sudden, then a person standing in it tends to fall in the backward direction. This is because the lower part of the passenger, which is in contact with the bus, begins to move, but the upper part of his body, due to inertia, continues to remain at rest. Inertia of motion A body in uniform motion continues to travel along a straight line unless an external force acts on it. Example, when a moving bus stops all of a sudden, then a passenger standing in it tends to fall in the forward direction. This is because the lower part of his body, which is in contact with the bus, comes to rest, but the upper part of his body, due to inertia of motion, continues to move. Newton's First Law of Motion Every body continues in its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled by some force to act otherwise. This law gives the qualitative definition of force. Newton's Second Law of Motion The rate of change of momentum of a body is proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the direction of the force acting. This law gives the quantitative definition. The mathematical representation of Newton's second law of motion is force is directly proportional to mv minus mu by t. Numerical relation between SI and CGS units of force. 1 Newton is equal to 1 kg meter per second square. 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. 1 Newton is equal to 1000 grams into 100 centimeters per second square. 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 gram centimeters per second square. But 1 gram centimeter per second square is equal to 1 dyne. 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyne. Momentum Momentum is the total quantity of motion contained in a body. It is the product of mass of the body and its velocity. Momentum is equal to mass into velocity. P is equal to mv. Momentum is a vector quantity. Graphical representation of Newton's second law of motion. The three graphs shown here give the relationship between force, mass and acceleration when one of these quantities is kept constant. Newton's third law of motion. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Note, 
resultant of action and reaction forces is never equal to zero, as the action and reaction forces are acting on two different objects. Practical Applications of Newton's Third Law of Motion A book placed on a table exerts a force on the table in the downward direction, equal to its weight, and the table balances it by an equal reaction force, R, acting upwards on the book. When we exert a force on a wall by pushing the palm of our hand against it, we experience a reaction force exerted by the wall. In rockets, the gases are ejected with a high velocity, that is, the rocket applies a force on the gases, giving them a backward velocity, and the gases in turn apply a reaction force on the rocket. This reaction force pushes the rocket forward.